Today we're going to show you how to service your whole house humidifier. I have a April Air 700 here. You can see the model number right there on the front of the unit. And we're going to teach you how to change the water panel. This is the new panel. Fits several of the April Air models. They're all listed along the bottom. It'll be pretty much the same procedure. Um, maybe just a little bit different on how it gets installed, whether it's a bypass humidifier or a fan assisted humidifier like this one. But first of all, you want to turn the water off. So you're going to see right here is the water line. It goes up. I don't know why they didn't strap it. They use tape. Um, just follow the water line down. It's usually a tapped into the um, hot line on the water heater. That's commonly where they're tapped. Occasionally you'll see them on the cold line and if there's not a water heater near the area then they just find a water line somewhere to tap it. But find the valve and uh, shut it down. Make sure it's closed. Next you want to find the Humidistat, a lot of times it is on the return duct. So here's the humidifier. Let me back off so you can see it. That's the return duct. It brings the air down. Then it runs along, goes into the side of the furnace, and then blows back up out into the house. So the humidistat, this one is on the return duct, so it's sensing the air coming back in from all the returns in the house, and it's before the humidifier, which the humidifier is down here. That way it can sense the humidity in the house, and it's not getting a false reading off the humidifier. So find the humidistat, make a note of the setting. They're usually depends on how cold it gets in your area um, around here we leave them around 35 percent there is usually an outdoor temperature scale if you can see it there it'll give you your average outdoor temperature and what they suggest setting it at that's just a suggested starting point you can turn it up or down from there um, if you start to see condensation on the inside of your windows then you might have it a little high because the window is getting too cold and it's condensing the moisture. So then you would want to back it down a little. If it still feels dry, you get a lot of static electricity, turn it up a little. Just find your comfort point. Um, next you want to, this one is a fan. It's got its own fan and supplies its own power. So it's got a plug. Um, just follow the cord, unplug it. Now we got everything unplugged. to see I don't have a lot of room here with the water heater we're gonna go underneath here and you're gonna see this little clip you pull this down and it disconnects the, the uh, bottom of the humidifier and then you'll pull that out pull that out and then lift up to remove that part of the humidifier So place that out of the way. Um, I just laid it right there on the duck, but put it, out, put it out of your way somewhere where it's not gonna get hurt. Now this is the April Air water panel that we'll be replacing. You can see how it's got a lot of sediment on it. Um, so what you do is you pull out the top. It might snap, uh, make a little noise pull out the top and then lift up as you can see right there in the bottom is where the drain goes and on the bottom of this that's the drain nipple what it does is it slides down in the bottom when we put it back and then you slide the top in it's got a little notch in the top right here that goes around the water nozzle right there So pull out the um, water panel and then I'll show you how to remove it. 
Now that we have the water panel removed from the humidifier, we're going to have to remove the panel itself from the scale control insert and the distributor tray. How you do that is right here at the top, you'll see You'll see a little clip. You just unsnap this, just like so. Do the same thing on the other side. This will unsnap the scale control insert, and you can pull the distributor tray right out. Now, the distributor tray, you're going to have two types. Some of them have like a granular substance on them. Those kind you don't want to scrub because that is there to distribute the water evenly down when it soaks through the pad. This has like a felt felt type cloth in it. It does the same thing, but this one, what we want to do is we want to take this up and get all this, um, this sediment off of it. We'll get it cleaned up and then you, you slide out the water panel. This just gets discarded into the trash. Uh, it look, it's very brittle. Um, this, this will get discarded in the trash. We'll put the new one in. We'll slide the new one in after we get the scale control insert, which is this piece and the distributor cleaned up. We'll unbox this, show you how to slide it in. We'll snap it all back together. We'll wipe out the inside of the humidifier. Check the tube in real quick just to make sure there's no cracks or dry rot and uh, we'll put it all back together. I'm going to go clean it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got everything cleaned up. Distributors clean. Scale. Suspension trays clean. Um, so now we're going to take the new water panel. Unbox it. You're going to see on one side, it's got a, either a line or a dot or some, some sort of painted surface. This is going to be at the top when you put it in. So you just make sure that's at the top, grab it right where the line is, slide it down in your insert. You can see the, the line at the top. This does not matter. It could go on this way, that way. Stick it back on the top there and snap snap those two little ears back into the holes here on the side of the insert. Make sure you hear that snap when you pull it back to the other side. It's ready to go in. The other thing is when you look at the side of the panel, you'll see that um, the coated aluminum will be going down because the water is going to flow in the top and eventually distribute down these holes. It's going to soak the pad evenly. And the reason the aluminum is pointed down, it wants to keep the water on the inside of the pad so it doesn't flow on the outside. In theory, the water, when it calls for humidity, it'll open up the solenoid valve on the bottom of the humidifier and let water through, which will fill up this distributor. It'll evenly soak this pad at the same time, the fan will be started and it'll be pulling air in, the warm air from your house, in and pushing it back through the pad to pick up the humidity. That's how it puts humidity in your house. No water actually goes through your ductwork. It's strictly just evaporated water. Any water that doesn't get used on this type of humidifier goes down the drain. And that way you don't get any stagnant water sitting there in your airstream making you sick. So let's go ahead and we'll pop this back in. Um, well, let's take a quick look at the tubing. Let me move this. I don't have anybody to hold the camera. I'm trying to give you the best shot possible. So right here, right here you have this tubing. You want to you wanna just give it a quick check. All, all down it to make sure that you don't have any cracks, dry rotting. If so, you'll want to replace that line because it is plastic. Um, 
this one feels okay i've already checked it i've already you also want to wipe out this area and then one more thing right here is the drain i like to go ahead when i'm doing this is mix up a cup full of half bleach and half water which i've already done just regular old bleach you use in your laundry mix it in with mix half bleach half water and just take it and pour it right down the drain line it'll kill anything that might be growing in there if it doesn't go then the lines clogged and I have to replace it It's going, it's just taking a while, small tube. What this will do is it'll end up clearing out all this gunk, algae, whatever it is growing in the tube there. Obviously you'll have to mop up any water you spill taking the water now so it's doing its job you can either do that or go ahead and get some more clear vinyl tubing just replace it if you want it's not a big deal unless it's cracked or plugged okay once you get done with that um let me wipe it up like this broke I'm gonna have to replace this 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 distributor line is supposed to be connected right here so that it doesn't move it looks like it broke I don't know if you can see it um, I'll have to replace that maybe we'll do a video on it maybe we'll just replace the whole water line but like I said you got the drain nipple at the bottom and then you have an indentation here at the bottom of your humidifier frame then you have a notch in the top of the distributor. This notch is going to go towards the ductwork because that is what that, that allows you to push it past that water spout. So put the bottom in first until the drain nipple, you feel it down that hole and then slide the humidifier pad back in. That's it. Then we take the actual humidifier, we'll latch it onto the top here. And then we'll push it down until it snaps. Let me try to get a better angle. I'm probably blocking the whole shot. So you just lift it up. It's pretty self-explanatory. There's two hooks on the top. If you can see that, if you can see in the shot here, there's a hook here. And a hook here that lips over the top of the frame up here like so and then it snaps down you have the snap it's good so then we just reverse the process plug it in open the water valve we're going to turn the humidifier back on and we will put it for around here at 20 degrees average temp outside in the winter um we, we haven't been getting that cold lately but we start out around here around 35 percent like i said if i ever see condensation on the windows on the inside of the house you don't want that because you don't want to start growing mildew and stuff um i'll just turn it back down from there the, the gauge on the humidistat is just a suggestion. It usually works out pretty good. Um, there you have it. We're done. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Smash the like button for me.
I will get back to the comments and, and answer any questions. It's fairly self-explanatory. You can get the water panel. Um, I will post a link down below this video. It will lead you to this water panel. If you have a Honeywell, there's a couple different brands that all get mounted on your ductwork. Either supply or return that are whole house humidifiers that have the flow through type water panel like what we are doing. And it's pretty much the same process. Um, the back of this water panel has directions on it. I'm sure you can find it on April Air's website as well. I'll put some links to the water panel down below. You can get it much cheaper there than having somebody come to your house to service this. This will save you a lot of money. And it's easy to do, and you should do it every season. Thanks. Take care.